948, and we're talking about a celebration of cultures around the world coming together in Waterbury. And we are talking about it has coming back after a three year hiatus, an annual multicultural celebration. It's returning to Waterbury this weekend. Very exciting. The gathering will feature music, food and dance from all around the world. Joining me right now to tell us much more about it. The organizers behind it, State Representative Geraldo Reyes Jr. and also John Murray from the Waterbury Observer. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you guys are the brains behind all of this. Seven years running. We did take a three year break, but this is yes. back and better than before, right? Yes, uh, it started back in 2013 as a journalist in Waterbury. I would cover um, a lot of ethnic festivals. The Puerto Rican festival was largely Puerto Ricans going there. Guyanese festival, largely Guyanese. And there wasn't a lot of mixing of the mm -hmm. cultures. And so I went to the mayor, Waterbury Mayor Neil O'Leary, and said, why don't we invite everyone to come together at one place and one time and, and share their cultures? And Geraldo worked in the mayor's office back then, and so the mayor asked him to, to collaborate with me, and uh, it just sort of uh, erupted uh, in 2013. How many uh, countries? We, we started have? out with 25 countries, the very first one, which is a, a large number in itself. Oh, sure, yeah, and, absolutely. And it's grown all the way up to 108 wow. in seven years. Mm -hmm. so, so it's coming back this Saturday. Yes, so and this Saturday. And if people have been to the ones in the past, what can they expect that's new this year? Well, the one thing I will tell you is that the 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 quality of the entertainment uh, is definitely have been stepped up. We have mm -hmm. four uh, dance and, and dance and musical stages uh, that are completely primed for solid music from twelve thirty all the way to seven o'clock, um, and all four stages are, are high caliber, high quality entertainment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have some pictures from previous celebrations. It just seems like it's such a great, energetic, mm -hmm. happy place to be. It really is. And, and just an incredible the, celebration. With mm -hmm. the temperature of, uh, of America right yes. now over immigration, and it's important to realize we're all immigrants mm -hmm. in America. We all came from somewhere, mm -hmm. and, and our motto at the gathering is we all came from somewhere, and now it's time we come together. We're all together, together. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And so this will be the eighth one. It starts at 11 o'clock with a parade through downtown. And then from noon to 7 is four stages of dance and music. And there's food from all over the world. And everyone's invited. Great place to bring the family, bring your friends, Absolutely. neighbors, get together and come on down. What do people need to know about parking and maybe some logistical information? So the parade starts at 10, excuse me, 11 o'clock, and we're asking everybody to uh, to come by, uh, no later than 10:30. There's plenty of parking downtown. There's four ramps that the parking will be free. Uh, there'll be plenty of uh, directions to get to these ramps. Uh, and then all the vendors, we're asking them to be in place at, at Library Park by uh, no later than 10, uh, no later than 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. because then we'll start shutting down the streets, the route of the, of the parade. It's a very short parade, but it's a very vibrant and colorful parade. And we're excited because we haven't done it in three years. Right. And the city of Waterbury uh, is, is, we're expecting somewhere in the, in the 20,000 range of people attending this event. And uh, every school in Waterbury participates, so there's a good way to get Get the kids involved, oh, wow, that's and uh, you know it's, it's an explanation. It's a it's a chance to to be used as a teaching model that there's more to the world than the USA, and uh, here's you know 100 countries. Take a look around. Look at the culture. Look at the dance. Look at the food. Taste the food. Listen to the music. So it's, Learn it's a teachable have moment. Fun, it's a teachable try something moment. New, yeah. mm -hmm. We give little passports to all the kids, and they run around and they go up to the cultural tents and get a stamp from oh, Guyana or a stamp from Cape Verde, and and so they're traveling the world. Literally. Right, right, right. And, and so now they can see the possibilities. Here's a passport. Look at all these countries in the world. Right. So it's very mind expanding. Mm -hmm. That is very cool. Well, we're glad that it's back after three years. We're all and John, thanks so much yes. for being with oh, us. Thank, thank you for you. having us. Thank you great, for having great us. Great time. And Matt, it's looking like it's pretty good on Saturday, right? I think so.